Yo, 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 this is King Erna coming to y'all live and direct. White boy Rick is home or is on his way home, whatever the case may be, whatever they got going on with this rat informant. My thing is they're, they're making a movie of it. So you know who's going to fill the, the movie up to see this white kid telling on everybody. Our, our, the parents, everybody, all of us are going to be there. I'm going to be there. But the thing is, when I go there, I'm going to have my children that allow them to know this is what you don't do because you don't have to get into this type of trouble. But a lot of y'all miss out on that and y'all looking to learn how to rap. Why, why is that glorified? I want everybody in my comments just to answer. This is something I'm going to do tonight. In the comments, why is rats, cowards, suckers, faggies glorified? I'm going to tell you why they're glorified, though. If you look outside in them damn cameras, you look go to every corner, these rats are really paying attention to that. They know that. So majority of them, they'll sell drugs and do things on camera because they know that individuals with brains got sense to run on them on cameras. Wrong. You haven't been watching the news. You couldn't have been. If, you, if, if you've been watching the news, people, it still happens on camera. It's a way around the cameras. Why do y'all feel as though it's okay to be dishonorable and just stand in the cameras? Come on now. It's either you're in it or you're not. If you're a tough guy, first of all, me, this is me per se. These dudes I speak on, I'm not speaking on them in a, I want to fight you, way, But I'm not coming here to fight anybody. I'm sorry. If you're tough here, I know you're not tough in real life. And if you talk gangster here, I know you probably super soft in real life. And a lot of y'all that I see in the comments talking to some of y'all, I know y'all. Kittens. District attorneys. Some of you dudes' addresses are listed. Some of you dudes' telephone numbers are listed because when y'all comment, your IP address. But I wouldn't do nothing to y'all because at the end of the day, I know that majority of y'all are here to learn. It's like bad children going into a class and a teacher teaching the hardest math in the world. And that teacher is just going in and it's algebra and it's all these other different things and you're like, oh, my head. So it's hard for you to understand a positive point but you see the famous names of the individuals I may be speaking of, so you come and you, you end up learning anyway. But I want for people to understand that if you have any type of street credibility, if you have any type of honor, I suggest that you do not come here to get it off your chest. The reason why is because you look like an asshole. Excuse my French. You look like one of the biggest a-holes in the world because... You're actually fighting with a computer. There is no one. Look, I can't hit you when I can't hear. I, I can't. I, I can't. What can I do? Nothing. So if you're a man and you live in this world and you're speaking up for yourself, especially against anything that King Erna have to say, face to face. I'm all, I'm all for it. I'm, you know, in the streets, the kids, the youngins, they slide up on me. And a lot of the older dudes, too damn young, and I saw that joint the other day, even ones that don't comment here. The most liveest subscribers I have is the ones that don't comment. I'm, they're the best ones because they really learn, and guess what? They don't got no rap. But the ones that got all the tough stuff, come on. It just make you look bad. It makes you look like a rat. And I'm saying to all the rats out here, go into your holes. It's good men coming out. Good men around. I'm one of the good men. We ain't trying to harm y'all, but we're able to say what we want. And we're able to call you on it when we see you. Hey, how you doing, so-and-so the rat? Come here, let me holler at you. And this is what I'm known for. Don't listen to your naysayers or your individuals that's around here that's rapping off in the comments. Know me as a person. And there's a lot of individuals that hate me, dislike me. But they know to respect me. You know why they know to respect me? I don't tolerate disrespect now. You're never going to have King Erna out of his mouth talk about what he's going to do to an individual on camera. You're not going to get it. But you're liable to see me walking up to an individual. Hey, someone sort of rat or hi, fella, were you in my comments? You're tough. 
let's get cute. And I'm going to, you know, because you can't listen to me. People got to ask them, do they want to fight? Or why do you guys want to fight me? Because if you do the wrong thing and you're on camera, you're going to jail. They're going to tell on you. They're going to write all the statements and give up all the excuses in the world. Their they main excuse is, I was either under the influence, I was a young boy, I was under the age, or I was just an individual uh, that became a victim. Now, you're not a victim or you're not a person that is a civilian when you talk gangster. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you was a, um, a doctor coming out of the hospital and you talking boop, 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 and somebody face that's walking by, it could be a 90-year-old grandmother. She going to whop you in your face. Same with individuals like myself that just don't want no problems. We want to keep getting on because we want to stay free. We know that you do to be number one. Hi, yeah. May the court reflect that you point out defender. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. Y'all know how it go. I know how it go from being a defendant. Damn, he just pointed me out. Super gangster. So I'm advising all the youth. Don't get upset with individuals that talk bad about you on or off the internet. The reason why is because them talking about you, especially if you have a platform, what happens is all of the people come to you. But if you mention them in any shape, form, or fashion, the ones that follow you will go to them. And I know my followers. They got honor the real ones. They sit back like, man, this King Ernest Ball is helping us become the men that we were supposed to have been. All the OGs and dudes you see when you walk up to them like, damn OG, boy, ain't good, he a rat. You know, all of them are starting to come out and saying, you know what, King Erna, all the times that I try to, you know, say, man, never mind, dude, or you're right. We got to pay attention and we got to know what's going on around us because when things start happening, you'll become the victim of these liars. That's what I call them, all liars. Every rat I ever ran into is a liar. Every rat I ever heard of is a liar. Every rat lover is a person who accepts anything at any given, at any given, at any given time. They accept anything. When I say they accept anything, they'll accept anything. They'll accept pork if they're if they Muslim. So don't tell you, oh, uh, yeah, that person was a Muslim. Nah, he, been, he wanted to eat that. If he ain't starving and he don't got no food around, he wanted to it. That's where he sold his honor at. He'll eat some pork. Get with a bad girl with a fat butt, he'll go eat some pork. Just like these individual rats. They act like they're not rat lovers. They're rats. They're potential rats. They're waiting to tell on something, but they want to make it cool like they're waiting for something to happen to like an old lady. They can say, man, I, you know what? I was out there and I told because at the end of the day, that guy had no business doing that to that civilian. Well, 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 well tough guy. If you're not a civilian and you see somebody trying to harm an old lady, go resolve that ish right there on yourself. You go take care of it, man. We got so many cities and I honor the cities that are close to Philadelphia, the ones that's in Philadelphia, like uh, Sheltenham, because that's really a part of Philadelphia. You have to understand that Sheltenham is indeed really Philadelphia. You know what I mean? That's not, it's not in it, but I mean, come on, we ain't going to be petty and say that it's not Philadelphia. At the end of the day, this is it. Norristown is in Philly. Westchester is in Philly. Delaware is not Philadelphia. Bottom line, it's not.